Headed into Harbor Freight to buy a jack. Stay tuned. So after trying to find this one right here at Harbor Freight, uh, this is my uncle's. They had these on sale for clearance for 79. I guess they're getting rid of the silver Pittsburgh ones. I don't know. But the guy said this wasn't, they haven't had these in stock for quite a while. So I went with a fancy one. That's right, went with the Daytona. Unfortunately, it's not a low profile, but I think it'll fit under five inches. I think that'll fit under most of the vehicles I'll work on. I'll mostly work on like trucks and stuff when I do get stuff like that in. So uh, let's start tearing this out of the box and take a look at it. And then we'll do a comparison. We'll do a test. We'll lift up one of these vehicles and we'll see how many pumps it takes to lift one of those off the ground. So stay tuned. Well, now that we got it unboxed, put together, which is pretty simple. If you look, this style has the push pin for the handle. This style has a boat. Pretty fancy, pumps up pretty good. So let's pull these over here side by side and let's take a good look at them. So of course this one's a low profile. I wish that one was a low profile. But like I said, it should fit under most vehicles that I work on. Um, so let's, uh, let's jack them up. Or, at the same time and see how fast they'll go.
So the uh, Daytona definitely a little bit faster. The loaf profile appears to be, yeah, a good inch more height all the way jacked up. This base also seems to be maybe a little shorter. Let's see. Just a hair shorter. Now let's release them. Of course, they'd release faster with weight on them. They turn for the win on that one. But the real test is, is jacking up a vehicle. So let's go jack up a vehicle. Be right back. Okay, this is the silver Pittsburgh. I got, I got it connected to the frame. We'll see how many pumps it takes. Get this wheel off the ground. So, one, two, three, four, five. So five, the wheel is not touching the ground no more. So let's try the Daytona. All right, it's connected in the same spot, all already against the frame, just like the other one. So let's see how many pumps. One, two, three, go with three and a half and four. At three, it was already lifted off the ground some, but that's a better level right there, as you can tell. Here's a rock for comparison. So, pretty fast. Then it released it in and Again, I wish it was low profile, but I think it'll work for most of the things I work on. Weight. They're both about the same weight. And you know what? I don't mind a heavy jack. I, just, I, I was looking at those aluminum jacks, and I just don't know if I trust the safety. So, in the end... This is about five pumps and this is about three and a half pumps. Uh, so it did pump up a little faster, it did bring it up. Also, on the last couple of pumps on this, I do have to say it's a little bit you had to put a little bit more weight into it. With the Daytona, I didn't. So So that's that guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Got a little dirt on. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And share this out if you haven't already. There, everyone.